For me, 2016 to 17 was hell. I, you know, no way around it for me. Um, and so I went through this crazy journey, a journey of, you know, pain, depression, fear, um, you know, doubt. And all of that was a journey that I was able to write through. And then I wrote as I was coming out of that dark place as well. So you could see the whole journey happen. And, and when it was all said and done, we were like, man, I found hope in the chaos. So let's write an album about there being hope in the chaos and how all things work together. And the album is kind of that, you know, picture of that, you know, it's how all things came together. I don't think I did push forward after Fish passed away. You know, just, I don't think I pushed forward. I think I just lived and wrote music to express my pain and to express what I was going through and to give hope to his family, you know. Um, it's tough, man, you know, it's tough to, to sit there and and look at somebody that you love kind of move on you know um it's tough to, to experience that and i was there I, I flew out there to go see him in the hospital when the doctor broke the news to us so that was painful but um but at the same time it, it, i just wrote you know and i think when you hear it i heard air sharon say this he said um the closer you get to your bone when you're digging and you're writing, the closer you get to somebody else's. And so I just wrote and, and I was digging deep down into the deepest parts of who I was in order to, con uh, not in order to, but just to be real. But I think that's what's gonna connect with people in the real way because it's not manufactured. It's not some kind of song. Let's create something that'll make people feel like this. It's like, let's talk about how this feels and and let's put it out there. My faith is a central part of who I am. So um, I felt like that that verse, A28, um, just communicates that all things work together for the good of those whom he loves and are called according to his purpose. And, and just realizing like, man, there's a bigger purpose for everything that happens to you. You know what I mean? Like even you, you take the negative, you take the bitter, you take the pain, you take the suffering, you take the depression, and all those are ingredients to create something far more purposeful than you can imagine. And so a lot of times I'll explain it to people and I'll say, if I got a stick of butter, if I got some raw eggs, I got some flour, I got some sugar, individually they taste disgusting. But you mix them together and refine them under some heat and you got, a, you got something wonderful, you know what I mean? You got a cake or some cupcakes or something like that. And so it all works together uh, for a greater good. If they knew what you knew, they probably shun me. I'm surprised you know it all and you love me. I know I'll break your heart. Body of death, give me rest. If my heart stops, then it don't hurt no more. Can't get worse no more. Can't pursue all these desires it ain't curse no more no more lies about my worth no more i understand the thoughts of suicide that do reside but when i stop and think about my family i feel new inside i promise i would die a thousand deaths for i cause them any pain but somehow i end up killing everything cry for you um was a song that i didn't think i would put out because i i'm gonna write it regardless i'm gonna i think all songs need to be written not all of them need to be shared so it was so personal and it was so raw and transparent, I, I thought I was gonna keep that for myself because some stuff I was like, this ain't for the world to hear. Um, but I let my, my homegirl, Natalie Lauren, who kind of was A&R in the project, she heard it and she said, you need to keep that song just like it is. Cause I just went in there raw emotions. It was, it was one take. I didn't go back in there. I didn't fix nothing. I didn't edit nothing. What you heard was what you got. And she said, people need to hear that. That's gonna heal folks. And, um, and I talked about a lot of real stuff that um, I just never imagined I would let the world hear. But you know, here it is, it's on the album now. I don't care about me not being labeled as the best rapper or anything like that, like that don't bother me. Cause I never did it for recognition. I did it because I, it, I was passionate about it and I loved it, you know. Um, I think, you know, when you love something, you do it cause you love it, you know what I mean? So I love hip hop. Um, I'm a product of the culture and I, you know, it, without it, what would I be doing? You know what I mean? Like, I don't know. So had Melly Mel and, you know, uh, Cool Herc and if they hadn't done what they did, what, I don't, what would I be doing right now? I don't know. I might be, I don't know what I'd be doing. So I'm grateful and I'm not, it's not a competition for me. I know hip hop is a sport and it's very competitive, but for me, it's not a competition. I'm just glad to be able to, to, to take something that the world thought was silly and foolish and now it feeds families, you know what I mean?